Hi, my name is Steve Pendergrass. I'm one of the founders of FictionWise.com and uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating the new features that are in our e-reader for iPhone and iPod Touch. This is version 1.1 and we're releasing this just about three weeks after the 1.0 release. We have a whole bunch of new features. Uh, if you don't see your favorite feature uh, in this release, uh, never fear. There's There are more releases on the way. 1.2 will just be a few weeks from the release of 1.1 and uh, so you'll, you'll be seeing the, your favorite features appearing soon. So as usual, you launch eReader by clicking on this icon and you go into the bookshelf mode and the first thing, first new feature you'll see is that you can sort your bookshelf by title, author, or date. So at the bottom of the screen here there are uh, different options for sorting. So I'm sorting by title, so this is by um, alphabetically by title or I can sort by author, alphabetically by author's last name, uh, or I can sort by date, which is the most recently downloaded to your uh, iPod Touch or iPhone uh, showing first. Uh, so that's a great feature. It makes it easier to find uh, books if you've got a lot of books uh, on your bookshelf. Uh, let's go into The Last of the Mohicans, which is our usual test book, and uh, show you some of the other new features while you're reading the book. Uh, so, as usual, we've got uh, the options that we had before, but in addition, uh, you'll see that on the bottom toolbar, there's, there's some more icons. So, there's still Table of Contents, Find, Find Again, but now there's a Reverse Video icon. This will allow you to reverse video the screen. Some people find it more comfortable, especially in dark conditions, to read white text on black background, and so you can very easily just swap uh, the screen color. Some people have said that this actually consumes less power as well. We're, we're not sure that's true. We're going to be running some tests uh, uh, and publishing some results on that in, in a little bit. In addition, there's a lock orientation uh, icon. A little picture uh, right now, uh, it's, a, it's, it's hard to see unless we really zoom up, but right now it's unlocked. It's in the unlocked position, meaning that if I turn the screen, it's going to auto-rotate. But if I click on, you know, just touch on the lock icon, now it turns into a little picture of a closed padlock, and the orientation will not change now uh, when I switch the screen. Uh, that's useful for people who read laying down in bed or on their side or on the couch, because they don't want the screen flipping when they, when they turn themselves sideways. In addition, there's a uh, little gear icon for other settings. And you'll see that there's more settings now. So, for example, you can turn full justification off. So full justification means that the text is maintained. Let's just take a look at that. Right now, full justification is turned off. So this is called ragged right. So there's the, the words don't line up on the right side of the page. Um, if you turn that on, that's the default, I believe then you'll see that the words are justified. They're fully justified and they line up on the right. Another uh, option is the page turn gesture. So in release 1.0 you had to use a swipe gesture to turn the page forward and backward. And um, most people found that acceptable but some people did not so we decided to add the option of changing what gesture turns pages. So if you tap on that option, you get uh, four different choices. You get to swipe left and right, swipe up and down, tap on the left or the right, or tap the top and the bottom. All right, so right now I'm on tap left right mode. So what happens is the screen is divided. We'll use some movie magic to, uh, to illustrate this. The screen's divided up left and right sides, and when you tap on the right side, you advance a page. When you tap on the left side, you go back a page. So anywhere you tap on the left or the right uh, will do it. If you're in up-down mode, if you're in top-bottom mode, then tapping on the bottom will advance the page and tapping on the top will uh, go backward a page. When you're in tap mode, to bring up the toolbar, you swipe. All right, so it reverses. So if you're in swipe mode to turn pages, then a tap brings up the toolbar on the bottom. If you're in tap mode to turn pages, then a swipe gesture brings up the toolbar on the bottom. So right now it's a swipe. And a swipe 
will, in any direction will bring up the toolbar. So it's quite easy to do. Another option that we have uh, new uh, in this release is uh, to turn off the page turn animation. Personally, I prefer the page turn animation turned on. Uh, because it's a confirmation that you're going in the direction you expect in the book. But if you want a little bit uh, faster page turning, you can turn animation off. So let's uh, just take a look at the difference. If I turn it off, then the pages just turn just by repainting the whole screen. If you turn it on, then it animates. One of the biggest new features in eReader 1.1 for iPhone and iPod Touch is the ability to download content from websites other than ereader.com or fictionwise.com. To do that, you select the plus icon in the upper right hand corner of the bookshelf. And now uh, in 1.1 you have two choices. You can either uh, choose e-reader websites, that would be ereader.com or fictionwise.com, and use your login just as you did in 1.0, or you can choose another site. If you click on another site, uh, you get prompted for a URL, and you can type in any URL of any website that has e-reader format uh, PDB files. Uh, in a previous run, I had looked at manybooks.net, so we'll go ahead and connect to manybooks.net. Manybooks is a great website. It's got uh, thousands of uh, public domain uh, Gutenberg and other uh, e-books. Uh, for download and we connect to their website and here it is and uh, their website is also has an optimized iPhone view so it's real nice and easy to use uh, I'm just gonna click on most popular to bring up their a list of their most popular ebooks and that takes a few seconds to come in over over my wireless connection here and there it is and uh, if we go down Let's see, we'll just choose uh, The Art of Public Speaking by Dale Carnegie. Click on that. And we come to that page. And uh, let's see, we'll select the format. And of course, we're going to select e-reader format. And we'll hit the download button. And it says OK. I'll say OK. Yeah, I really want to download that. It says it's complete. And there we have the art of public speaking. And um, you know, you just click on the book title to to read it. So it's uh, it's very easy to do as long as the website has actual PDB files in the e-reader format. It's important to know that. Uh, some websites that have e-reader files uh, actually don't use a PDB extension and current in 1.1 currently we can't always figure out that that's really a PDB book. There are ways to use this feature as well to download content right off of your PC um, uh, or, or Mac uh, by running a personal web server and then browsing to your own internal network web server and downloading your own books. There are instructions on our personal content FAQ and I'm going to show that uh, here on the video. Uh, so you can go visit that web page and you will see instructions for how to do that. And to also make that easy, uh, in your ereader.com and fictionwise.com accounts, we now have a personal content upload feature where you can go to your ereader.com or fictionwise.com account and upload up to 25 megabytes of your own ereader format PDB files uh, to make it easy to upload to your iPhone or iPod Touch without having to configure anything on your own computer. So there's a few different ways to do it. Uh, you can you know, browse to other websites or you can uh, get your own personal content that you've downloaded in other ways or create it yourself uh, into your iPhone or iPod Touch.